How are we doing guys and welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection and we've got a slightly different video for you today, at least a little bit different for us, but I want to start off by giving a shout out to the spirit that we're using in today's cocktail and that is Hospitality Gin. Now the most important thing you need to know about Hospitality Gin right now is that 100% of their profits go to hospitality charity supporting workers who've lost their livelihood whilst all the pubs, bars and restaurants are closed. We'll put links to their website down in the description and all the places that you can buy it. I think it's only available in the UK right now. Like I said, we're going to be using it in today cocktail and you might have noticed I said cocktail not cocktails and that's because rather than doing the five cocktails that we normally do we're just going to focus on one cocktail today but I will make two versions one recipe that you might find on a quick Google search and then I'll do a version that I like to use that I've tried and tested over the years give you a few pro tips on that and not necessarily a more complex version if you know me you know I like to keep things simple strip things down and uh, just let the ingredients speak for themselves really so let us know what you think of this slightly different format if you love it please let us know if you hate it we'll get rid of it if just the hardcore fans like it we'll probably stick it over on the distilled truth but please do let us know what you think oh and there is one other major difference in today's video but I'm not going to tell you what it is actually let's see if anybody can guess so stick your guesses down in the description and whoever gets it right first we'll give a shout out in the next video or something right enough of that let's get over to the bar and we'll talk about the drink we're making today just before we get to the cocktails I'd love to tell you about today's video sponsor and that is Skillshare Skillshare are one of the largest online learning platforms with thousands of courses ranging from accounting to zen meditation. And since working with Skillshare, I have developed so many new skills. But recently I've been looking at some of their advanced courses in fields that I'm already familiar with to see if I can develop the skills that I already have. And so this month I've been following Marcus Brownlee's course called YouTube Success. And you know, we've been doing YouTube for a while now and the channel's doing really well, but the more we take it seriously and treat it like a job, the more we realise there is more to it than just making great videos. And Marcus's course has really given me an insight into the importance of video titles, frequency and timing of posting, how the algorithm actually works, and even the impact of a well-crafted thumbnail. And I'm really looking forward to applying these techniques to our channels so we can carry on growing them. And if you want to see what skill you can learn or upgrade on Skillshare, then the first thousand people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership and after that, it's only around $10 a month. So click that link. I promise you there is a course on there for everyone. Right, back to the cocktails. All right, guys, so the cocktail we are going to be looking at today is called a Flora Dora. And why a Flora Dora, Rory, you might ask? I'm going to tell you. Uh, and the simple reason is it was the last cocktail that I drank in the last cocktail bar that I went to in the last few days of that cocktail bar being open before it shut its doors permanently. So. I thought I'd start this style of video with a bit of a tribute to that, but also drinking it that night reminded me of what a fantastic drink it is, and what a simple drink it is, and a much forgotten classic. So I wanted to share it with you, and I, I think I did it in a video a few years ago, but I think I've slightly tweaked my recipe since then. So I want to share my updated version. It's not my re recipe, I'm just one that I've come across that I think is the best. But I also said I was going to do a, like a generic version that you might find on a Google search, and I was deciding what version to you so I thought the fairest way and a bit of an experiment for this first video in this style is I'm just going to type in Floridora cocktail and I'm going to use the first one that comes up in a Google search so it's a bit risky like I, I definitely don't uh, endorse this version and I, but I also don't want to slag off anyone's recipe or anyone's website so I'm not going to name where I got it hopefully someone will like it and but then I'm going to show you my version so this generic version that we're going to do is a built drink so I'm going to go and grab a highball from the freezer and I'm just going to follow the ingredients as I found them online. So we're going to start with our first ingredient, which is 40 mils of our London dry gin. Don't forget we're using a hospitality gin today. It's followed by 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Fifteen mils of Chambord, which is a black raspberry liqueur. Yeah, there's not much to talk about the history of the Floridora. It's named after a comedy musical that opened in uh, London's West End in 1899 and then transferred over to Broadway the year after. Uh, and this cocktail was said to have been made by a bartender in, in Broadway, Jack O'Brien, I think his name, Jimmy O'Brien or something, for one of the Floridora chorus girls so uh, originally it would have used raspberry syrup instead of raspberry liqueur but uh, most places you find it these days will use a raspberry liqueur 
Um, and it kind of fell out of fashion, really. I guess it was popular for a little while in the early 1900s, and then I first heard of it at Milk and Honey here in London, and the version I'm going to make for you in a bit is very, very similar to the version they use there. So that's our Chambord, gin, lime juice, and then the recipe that just says to top with ginger ale. In. Then we'll just finish that with a wedge of lime. So that is the internet generic Floradora. I'm going to whack that in the freezer for a minute and then I'll make my version and then we'll compare them to each other. All right, so we're going to do my version now, uh, the version I use, and the one I think is the best. And we're going to start off by foregoing the raspberry liqueur and raspberry syrup all together. And we're going to whack two fresh raspberries straight in the shaker. And followed by 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime. 15 mils of simple syrup. It's one to one simple syrup. And then where we're going to go a little bit different, I'm using 10 mils of ginger juice, so that is literally ginger root, peeled, wax in a centrifuge juicer, and then that's what you get. If you want to turn that into a ginger syrup, uh, you just add equal parts of caster sugar. But we're just going to go straight, fresh, punchy ginger juice. And next up is of course our gin. We're going to go full 50 mils on that. No need to muddle the raspberries. We're just going to go in with a hard shake. Strain that into a frozen highball. So remember, it's got fresh raspberries in there. So if you wanted, you could fine strain those off. It's entirely your preference. I'm going to leave them in. I've got a double uh, spring on my hawthorn strainer, so it's going to keep most of it out. There's a beautiful pink colour. Hopefully, you can see that on the camera. All right, we'll talk the ice. Finish off again with some ginger ale. We're going to use a different one here. Just Merchant's Heart, it's quite nice. Skills. Beautiful. All right, then we're just going to finish that off with a straw and a lime wedge and a raspberry like that and that is my version of a Floridora. Right I'll grab the other one out of the freezer and we'll do a little uh, do a little taste test shall we? Okay right, of course <laughs> I'm gonna be biased uh, going on appearances all right I've used a sexy glass for this one but the colour the opaqueness rather than this clear, the clarity of this one. I am going to stick another ice cube in there because that started to float. Yeah, appearance that this one wins hands down, but it's not all about how it looks. You know me, it's all in the taste. So, it's quite tasty actually. Yeah, the problem I have with that is that the the Chambord, equal parts Chambord and the lime juice, uh, ne they're never going to balance. The Chambord's just not quite sweet enough. There's quite a lot of ginger ale in there, so there is quite a dominant flavour. And you can taste the Chambord, and thankfully, that Hospitality Gin's got the higher ABV, and it's got that very juniper forward flavour, so that definitely pokes through. But I think if you use a supermarket 37.5% ABV London dry gin, I think it might get completely lost in that ginger ale, and the Chambord might even overshadow that slightly. But 
if you tried it, I'm sure you'd like it. And you know what, if you go into a bar that <laughs> doesn't know how to make a Floridora, you say to the bartender, I'll take a Floridora please mate. And he's like, yeah sure, no problem. Uh, I just need to pop out the back and grab something. I'll be back in a sec. You know that he's going out the back, <laughs> furiously searching for a Floridora recipe rather than say, oh, I don't know that one. Uh, so that's the version you're probably gonna get. So let's try mine. Yeah, super fresh just from the ginger juice and the fresh raspberries. The simple syrup doesn't really play a part. It's just there to balance the drink out. The gin really punches through and the ginger ale is subtle, but adds a nice bit of spice along with the, along with the ginger juice. And the big difference for me is the temperature. All the ginger ale was chilled, but obviously that one was not shaken. And I did use a frozen glass for it, but it's just, yeah, it's kind of warm warm and flat where this one's cold, fresh, punchy. So that's definitely the winner for me. But try them both and let me know <laughs> which one you prefer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you get on with the Floradora down in the comments. Tell me what version you prefer. If you've got your own version, stick that down there as well. If you took any nice pictures of your Floradora or any cocktail pictures for that matter, you can tag us at Bonville Cocktails over on Instagram or use the hashtag Bon Cocktails. And whilst you're over there, you might as well give us a quick follow. Tell us what you think of this format of video, just doing one cocktail. If you like it, let us know what cocktail you want to see next. Don't forget to check out Hospitality Gin. If you can't buy it in your country, just give them some support anyway. And I think there was something else, but I can't remember what it is. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Maybe another ice cube. Maybe not. And I say cox and I say cocktails, not I say cock and I said cocktail, not cocktails. Cock, cock, cock. And I say and I say cock. We're just gonna look at one cock, not the five cock that you that we normally do. And I say cocktail, not cock. And I said, and you might have noticed I said cocktail, not cocktails, because we're just gonna look at one cock, 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 cock. <laughs>